hey, how's it? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Did I do something? Is something wrong? Is there something on my face? How's it going, everyone? Hope you're doing well. If you have been streaming for a while, you've now no doubt learned it's not as simple as just pressing go live and you're good to go. No, in fact, usually there's actually quite a few things you need to do prior to going live, which aren't immediately obvious until you start doing it. So, today, I wanted to discuss with you what I kind of have as a pre-stream checklist to make sure I'm good to go. And these are valuable tips whether you're new or existing, because sometimes you just don't think about those things. Let's get into it. Now, the order I'm going to give you things is the order I personally do them in. However, you can do them in any order you'd like. There's no right or wrong way. I just have personally found, for me, that this way is the most efficient. So I'm going to give them to you in that order, and we're going to start with the very first thing, and that is make sure your appearance is okay. You're going to be online. You're going to be streaming in front of people, talking with people. Appearances matter, especially if they've never been on your channel before. So, I personally have gone to somebody's channel, they did not really put any effort in their appearance, and I didn't stick around. You're there to hang out with the streamer, and first impressions are everything. If you just look dead in the face, have messy hair, and unkempt beard if you're a dude, it just doesn't work. First and foremost, always check your appearance. It goes farther than you think it does. Now that's not to say you need to be like collared shirt, top hat type fancy, but if you have assets, flaunt them. There's nothing wrong with that. You're trying to get attention. Now, there is the subject of booby streamers in the check your appearance, but that is for a way later date. This next thing is a bit of a hot take. Some people are okay with this, some are not. It's just something I personally make sure to do before I go live, and we're just gonna get it out of the way now. Eat before you go live. You know what time you stream, this is not a surprise. Now, things do happen. I understand that. I have personally been on the receiving end of food being delivered late when I was supposed to be streaming. What I did in that situation is put a notification out on Twitter and Discord, said, hey, my food's just now getting here, I'm gonna be a few minutes late. And I proceeded to eat my food before going live. Now, whenever I am late, I always make up for it at the end of the stream. So if I'm late by 15 minutes, I'll go 15 minutes over. And some people are okay with you eating on stream, and that's great, but you have to take it into consideration. Not everybody's okay with that. And for those who are not okay with that, you have lost that viewer. I do want to explain that I'm kind of jaded on this because of my days as a call center agent. I'm not in a call center anymore, luckily, but I hated when people ate on the phone with me. I absolutely couldn't stand it. So I don't want to see or hear you eating. But if you were okay with that and your audience is okay with it, that this would not apply. And of course, if you were doing some type of eating challenge, then definitely throw that out the window. Eating challenges on stream are a thing. I have participated in those as a viewer, but it was more background noise, so I didn't have to see it. But obviously that is an exception to this rule. Now here is the single most important thing you absolutely need to check every time before you go live. Some things are optional. This is absolutely not one of them. That is, check your audio. It has happened to me. It has happened to several streamer friends of mine that will go online and either the desktop audio, game audio, or their microphone isn't coming through. Now, when it's happened to me, I've been able to fix my microphone on that same stream just by unplugging it and plugging it back in, but not so much with gamer desktop audio. That messes everything up. You have to restart OBS to fix it. And because OBS and uh, Streamlabs show you what your audio levels are and if they're working or not, there's no reason to not check it. Always, always, always check your audio. I cannot stress that enough. Let me just give you one scenario on what makes this so important. Say you go online, you have some people lurking, no one's really active in your chat, which does happen more often than you'd think, actually. But because nobody's chatting, there's no one there telling you you have an audio issue. You don't know. You could have people coming in like, well, there's no audio, and hightail it out of there. So the responsibility falls on you to always check your audio. You cannot count on your audience to let you know. A lot of people will. I am one of them. But it's not a guarantee. Now, this next thing is super important. Not audio levels of important, but it's still important. And that's updating your stream information and your stream title which is all found on your dashboard on Twitch, which if you don't 
know the dashboard that well, you should familiarize yourself with it. But if you're here, I will help you. I plan on doing a dashboard video in the future. A good stream title is important because it sets your stream apart from others. I have seen people do like their stream name, play as whatever game, episode one. I even started doing that when I first started. But I have personally found if you do a catchy title, it sets you apart. People are more likely to click. Even if they're just lurking, they're more likely to click. And then of course, you always want to make sure the game is up to date. Because if it's not, well, that's just bad. I know someone who started recently and they did not update their stream title or their game. It wasn't good. They got it fixed. It's all good now. But you always want to make sure that is up to date with what you're doing. And don't forget tags. Tags are important too, but again, that'll be in the dashboard video in the future. This next one is important only if it applies to you. It's not going to apply to everybody. Some people don't want this, some people do. That's fine. There's nothing wrong either way. There is no right or wrong answer. But if you do have additional add-ons, make sure those are active before you go live. I will use one I am now using as an example. I recently started using stream avatars, and I actually have to have that application loaded before I start streaming for them to show up. And then I also do closed captioning on my streams, which I have to activate before I go live, so it catches everything. So it is important if you have them, and it's just to make sure that they're running from the beginning of the stream. You can fix them during, it's not an issue, but it still takes away from time you could be chatting with your audience, or playing your game, or whatever it is you're doing. So add-ons, make sure they're active. If this information has been helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you have not done so already. Also comment below if you think there's anything I forgot or you want to let me know. Also, I stream on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time and Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And there you have it. There's a very basic checklist that I usually do before going live. What about you? What do you do before going live? Is there something I didn't cover that you do? Or is it something that wouldn't even be relevant to my checklist? Let me know in the comments below. Also, while you're down there, what do you think of the purple? Or do you prefer the blue? Either way, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for coming in. Until next time. Bye. Um, so, it'll be fun, because we're getting a lot of hype. Thanks, Inc. I appreciate it.